Good morning. Happy Pentecost Day. Well, I brought along a balloon today because you know what? I really love playing with balloons. And my favorite thing to do with balloons, and I bet it is with yours too, is to hit them up in the air and see how many times you can keep them up. So I'm going to do that with my balloon here. Wait a minute. This isn't very much fun. Something's wrong with this balloon. It's flat. It kind of reminds me of how the disciples were. After Jesus rose from the dead, he stayed with them for 40 days. And then on Ascension Day, Jesus had to go to his Father up in heaven. Well, the disciples, they were sad that they wouldn't get to see and talk to Jesus anymore. And some of them were even afraid. But Jesus said to them, don't worry, I'm going to send someone to help you. And sure enough, on the 50th day after Jesus rose, on the festival of Pentecost, Jesus did send someone. The disciples were in a room celebrating that festival of Pentecost all alone. They weren't out talking to people. They were kind of hiding. And all of a sudden, there was a great rush of the wind. They heard it. In fact, it might have even blown some of the stuff off their table. Oh, boy. And then they looked at each other. And they started to laugh and giggle because on the top of their head was a flame. A flame that looked like fire, but it wasn't hot. It just looked like fire. And then the disciples felt different. In fact, they felt filled up. And they went out and they talked to all different kinds of people in all different kinds of languages. Languages that they had never spoken before. And they talked and they talked and they told everyone about Jesus. Well, just like it's not so fun to hit this balloon that's flat, it wasn't so fun for the disciples when they felt flat. But when they had when they were filled up, like this balloon is, it's a lot more fun. And you know what? We're filled up too. We're filled with the Holy Spirit. A couple of weeks ago in Sunday school, we learned a song. We learned, oh, do you know the Spirit's here, the Spirit's here, the Spirit's here. Oh, do you know the Spirit's here right in my heart? Yes, we too are filled with the Spirit. And that Spirit stays in us all the time. Sometimes it helps us to talk to people about Jesus. Sometimes it just helps us when we're afraid. But yes, that Spirit is here with us too. It fills us up. And we thank God for that. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for giving us the Spirit, for filling us with that courage to tell others about Jesus and his love. We thank you for filling us up with that love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.